Hi, my name is Dan O'Connor. I'm Director of Business Development with Simulations Plus. I'm speaking to you from my home where we've been in strict quarantine for about 12 days. Sometime before that, my wife was very sick, in bed, had a high fever, with all of the symptoms of flu. Her doctor ordered a test for the COVID virus. While we waited for that test and the results to come back, which took somewhere in the order of five to six days, she got better and better each day. Eventually, we learned that she indeed did test positive for the virus. As I mentioned, we are in quarantine and we consider ourselves very lucky and blessed. She recovered relatively quickly and at home. This global pandemic that we're all experiencing, a once in a lifetime event, we hope, requires of all of us, all of us who are engaged in bringing safe and effective drugs and treatments to the world, to work together, to collaborate, the men and women of Simulations Plus are prepared to support your research efforts in any way we can to a person our scientists are here to help your organizations expedite any solution to address the COVID threat. In a moment, each of our division presidents will describe for you how we can deliver immediate scientific expert support to your research programs. We believe that by joining forces with you, we can and will accelerate your efforts to bring a solution to people around the world who desperately need it. I for one know that not everyone will be as lucky as my wife and I have been. My hope is that by working together, we can contribute to the world a speedy solution to this scourge. Thank you for your kind attention. Stay well, stay safe, and stay home. Hi, my name is Brett Howell, and I am president of Dilly Sim Services a part of the Simulations Plus family of companies. First and foremost, I hope you and your family are doing well and making it through this unprecedented um, COVID-19 epidemic that we are facing here in the United States and around the world. Now, Dilly Sim Services is a part of the Simulations Plus Strategies Plus COVID-19 Act program. And as such, we are providing components of the services to help you with your COVID-19 drug development pro pro programs and processes. Now, in, as part of uh, bringing those programs to you and those uh, offerings to you, I can make several promises on, on behalf of Dilly Sim Services and Simulations Plus as a whole. First of all, we pledge to realign our priorities to fight this virus with you in a very timely fashion. Second of all, we will apply the highest level of rigor and review to this work to ensure that the response, that a rapid response, doesn't have to mean low quality. Third, we will closely align with your goals of clear and effective deliverables that expedite review and approval of your therapeutics, including helping you communicate the value of modeling as a part of your program. And lastly, we will provide fair and reasonable pricing, as our primary goal is to be part of the COVID-19 solution. Now, Dilly Sim Services specifically will be contributing to this program and can help your program in, in three key ways. First, we can help with an evaluation of the liver safety of your compound using our, our, uh, our proven Dilly Sim software platform. And we can do this in an expedited and timely fashion. Second, we can apply our knowledge and expertise in the development of our IPF platform, which focuses on the pathophysiology of idiop idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis to address the pulmonary um, pathology that comes along with COVID-19, including potentially inflammation and fibrosis. Lastly, we can provide our, our, our knowledge and expertise in the area of cardiac pathophysiology. Um, it's, it's, it's now being hypothesized and discussed 
that COVID-19 can lead to long-term cardiac uh, problems and, and pathophysiology. And our knowledge in this area, and certainly our applications in this area um, in quantitative systems pharmacology can help you develop solutions. Many folks are focused on the acute treatment of COVID-19, and certainly that is where most of the attention is currently warranted. However, we anticipate that coming out of this pandemic, there will be long-term effects of the COVID-19 um, disease. And we think that our, our focus on idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and also on um, cardiac um, uh, pathophysiology can be very useful to drug development programs in this regard. In summary, our primary concern at Dilly Sim Services and all of Simulations Plus really is your safety and your well-being and that of your family. We do believe that we have strategic tools to help and we hope that you will consider reaching out and scheduling a consultation with us to discuss this. As always, we're also here at Dilly Sim Services standing ready with our QST and QSP solutions in the area of liver safety, pulmonary fibrosis, cardiac pathophysiology, NAFLD and NASH um, drug treatment, uh, and, and other areas as well, including kidney toxicity, to help with a tailored consulting project or a software platform license. Stay safe and thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jill Feather Kelly, president of Cognizant Corporation, one of the companies that's part of the Simulations Plus family, coming to you from my home near Buffalo, New York. I sincerely hope that everyone listening to this message is in good health and focused as I am on keeping their family safe and well during these challenging times. Today, I wanna to tell you more about Simulations Plus's newly established Strategies Plus COVID-19 Act program, which we have developed to speed our integrated consulting assistance to any organization involved in coronavirus research. Given the critical nature of the crisis we're facing and how dramatically it has already affected all of our lives and will likely continue to for weeks to come, we wanna offer the combined scientific expertise, software and technologies of each of the divisions of Simulations Plus to help combat this challenge. At Cognigent, we've been hard at work developing a conceptual scheme for a knowledge synthesis based approach to describe the interdisciplinary collaboration that will be required to address the many complex and interrelated issues relevant to the current crisis. We can apply this approach to evaluate the repurposing of existing drugs, as well as in the discovery of new compounds that might be effective against COVID-19. By applying and evaluating semi-mechanistic drug and disease models, we are working to elucidate the potential risk benefit of various treatment options. In particular, our scientists have been investigating a state-of-the-art virology model to predict the kinetics of the virus, the associated immune response, and the impact on specific drug targets. With the help of an interactive SHINee application we've developed, we can view predictions of viral load, B cells, and antibody response over time, and easily view and consider alternative scenarios. In addition, using available public data regarding confirmed cases, deaths, and other outcomes from around the world, we have implemented epidemiological model predictions by country to allow investigations of the effects of various interventions and simulations of future states. Importantly, as you'll hear from Brett and John next, our focus is on linking these models together with mechanistic models that predict drug concentrations and responses in various tissues. In this way, we sincerely hope that these resources prove to be helpful in generating a better understanding of the current situation and in developing a solution. So whether we've worked together before or you know us simply by our reputation in the industry, you know that our staff of expert data programmers and world-class clinical pharmacology and pharmacometric modeling and simulation experts are great partners. We listen and think hard and are sincerely interested in helping you solve problems. We help to develop a deeper understanding of the problem and ultimately contribute to a successful solution. In much the same way as when we collaborate with you to overcome drug development challenges, to optimize your trial designs for a higher probability of success, and in the way we are there for you to help you address regulatory hurdles to meet your program's milestones and achieve regulatory success, we are here to apply that same flexible, creative, and collaborative mindset to help you and your team with this challenge. Please reach out to us today. Let's discuss your specific challenges and figure out how we might be able to help.
Hi everyone, I'm John DeBella, connecting with you from my bunker, aka my wife's closet converted into an office. Hope you are all staying safe, connected, and productive during this challenging period. As we practice measures put in place by our government bodies to flatten the curve and give our healthcare workers a fighting chance, Simulations Plus stands ready and committed to working with the pharmaceutical industry to solve the COVID-19 puzzle. As organizations race to develop a vaccine in the near term, we have established our Strategies Plus COVID-19 Act program to integrate the novel modeling and simulation solutions and expertise across our corporations specifically for coronavirus research. Jill and Brett have already described how our teams at Cognigen and Dilly Sim Services stand ready to offer state-of-the-art viral dynamics models and applied QST QSP systems to evaluate safety and efficacy potential for drug candidates. Here in Los Angeles, we have packaged the world's most validated pulmonary PBPK model in GastroPlus with our other top-rated dosing modality models to investigate the impact of different delivery routes, be it inhalation, oral, or various injection pathways, to optimize dosing to target lung exposure in different population groups. Also, with the onboarding of Dr. Sandra Suarez-Sharp, a 20-year FDA expert reviewer and queen of physiologically based biopharmaceutics modeling who now heads up our regulatory affairs team, we are able to uniquely apply the results from GastroPlus to support the new FDA guidance for conducting clinical trials for coronavirus. Specifically, how can GastroPlus simulations address drug product quality claims? There could be real opportunities to leverage the software to accelerate the safe prescribing of higher strength medications without the need for exhaustive testing. While we are adjusting our standard business priorities and schedule to support companies directly involved in coronavirus research, it is important to remember that anything Sean, Jill, Brett, or I discussed can be applied to any chemical series or therapeutic area. With approximately 40 approved drug products on the market supported by simulation results from our tools, you are only limited by your imagination and maybe ability to define certain inputs into the models to apply our machine learning, PBBM, PBPK, population PKPD, and QST, QSP technologies in support of internal decision making and regulatory interactions. Stay safe, diligent and mindful of your family, friends and neighbors and remember that the team at Simulations Plus stands ready to help tackle this and any future opportunity with you. Please take care everyone.